podcast is about relationships. Woo! Yay! Yay! I'm Danielle and I am taken. Hi, I'm Yaga and I'm single. <laughs> I'm Juri, I'm single. Oh, I'm Alyssa and I'm single. <laughs> I'm Lena, I'm chronically single. <laughs> is our ideal types, I guess. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Um, sh- Do you I want to think- start with like appearance or personality? Oh, we should Those are two very Do different things. Like- but she's in a relationship. Oh, Do you, I like what you just more? describe him? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I always describe it as him anyways. Oh, because oh, he fits, he, he fits my idea. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's so cool. Oh. And he's very passionate about it, and he has a goal in life. Having a goal in life is very important. If you don't have a goal in your life, you need to get on that, because then you'll find a woman. <laughs> so have have ambition. Yeah, ambition. Yeah. Like having something to work towards is like a good attribute. Yeah, for me. Yay! Yay! <laughs> She's like circle time. Circle time. <laughs> I love circle time. Well, my ideal up. type, um, I'm into athletes. Mm-hmm. I know, um, don't think about anything before, but <laughs> I'm into athletes. Um, it's just like, I also do sports, so I feel like I have more com- in common with somebody if they like have similar interests. They don't have to be doing the same sport, it's just like, you know, if someone's into a sport, then it's like, I just saw what was on her notes. I was like, sorry, I saw, I just saw but, yeah. words. Okay, oh no, but yeah, so like if you have like similar hobbies, I guess like you get along better. So like you can go on workouts together because you both do sports. So like athletes, also because they, they're they usually really tall. And mm. Jerry is very tall. Yes, I'm decently tall. Decent tall. What is your height, miss? I am 5'7. With? Mm. But what are you with shoes? With shoes, I'm probably like 5'8". 5'8 or 5'9, depending on the shoe, right? Yeah, my shoes are pretty platform. Because Jerry came into my house today, and I was like, Jerry, you're so tall. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm wearing platforms. Because I was not wearing my <laughs> Which shoes. Which ones are you wearing today? I was wearing my platform boots. Like the docks? My or? black ones. Oh. They're not docks, but yeah. And Danny was wearing slippers, so I looked really tall. But yeah, yeah I'm like decently tall, so I need somebody that's decently tall. That's fair. Yeah. Nothing against the short people. It's oh, just a short king. Short king. Yeah, okay. king. But like, my ideal type is someone that's tall. I don't mm. think I have a problem with that. I'm 5'2". <laughs> yeah, I, I have even less of a problem with that. <laughs> yeah, you guys are chilling, but I'm kind of tall, so... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alright, Ina. <laughs> you wanna go? Oh, no, you can go. You can go for it. I don't really have a type. I mean, like, I talked about it a little bit. I think we were in the car one time. And I thought you asked me that question, or someone I asked did? me that question, and I was like, I spent like, with like, with oh, oh, I said, on oh, beach day? I'm like, not on beach day, like, we went to go do pottery. Oh my gosh! Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Anyways. And so. I was like, then I was, because I've never had that question asked to me, and I was like, the whole time I was like, trying to think, like, what do I, but I couldn't really find anything, but I feel like, in general, I would want to be friends first. I don't know why, but I feel that like sense. Yeah. I want to get to know what you are as a person before we put, like, I wouldn't be, like, on a dating app. Um, so basically, <laughs> um, this is most of it is old. I do have an updated one, which is much shorter because I realized I was crazy back then. Like, why did I do all that for? Anyways, um, <laughs> kind of funny to read, no, but it's, it's fine, it's fine. Um, I really like. No, it's fine. Say it, girl. Jim Brown's. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but yeah, um, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm an arms girly, so I really like nice arms. That's yeah. Um, um, like Danny, um, you kind of have to know what you want to do in life, cause I know I'm indecisive, but at least I have a path that I want to go down. And if you're kind of just like, 
go with the flow and you don't even know if you want to, you don't really know what you want to do with your life, then I get it. But at the same time, it's like, let's get on that. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's also important. And then, um, oh, I'm not picky about this, but if you're musically inclined, and or like yeah 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 <laughs> yeah yeah um yeah you should be smart and you have to be you just have to be like a funny guy like you have to make me laugh like I can't be the like I can't always be the one like making like making jokes up in here like I need to I need someone to return that okay, you have to be family oriented orientated oriented orientated orientated because family is a huge deal to me and um. Yeah, you just have to be nice. Like, be nice, be a gentleman, and have nice arms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Miss Melissa. Miss well, see, um, 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 ideal type. Well, Lee Hee Chan. <laughs> Put up a picture. Put up a picture. <laughs> to like nice clothes or they don't know how to dress nicely but they still try it's that effort right yeah, yeah. it's the effort that counts it's the effort yeah. that counts and so over, all in all you know we all like a man with some who who's smart we all like a man who looks good we all like who's like quite tall that's about it really do you guys nice. have a specific height or do you have like a for me it's just as long as you're taller than me yeah Same. i feel like that's yeah just taller like my like clothes at least my height yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, if they're even a little bit taller than me, yeah, you're good. <laughs> yeah. No. Mm -hmm. It's, <laughs> it's, like, it can happen to be shorter than me, but it's not very likely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be surprised. I'd be surprised, too. Because even with shoes, I'm still, like, under 5'3". Mm. Yeah. I feel like with shoes on, I'm, I'm like, 5'6"-ish, mm -hmm. but I'm 5'5". Five, five. Solid Me? Five, I'm like five two regularly. Regularly. <laughs> regularly. Yeah, I don't wear tall shoes, so yeah. I'm just five two period. Um, yeah. I used to wear tall shoes and then I just got lazy mm -hmm. putting them on. No, that's why like my friends, like when like they see me without shoes for the first time, they're like, Did you shrink? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, No, I didn't shrink my shoes. <laughs> Is there like a hobby that they not need to have, but at least are willing to indulge in with you? Mm. Or do you not really care about doing hobbies together? With your just, so I really like doing hobbies together, it's a really fun time. Like just in general, if I'm playing a game, he'll also play a game with me. If he wants me to play a game, I bought a game for him for us to play together. Mm -hmm. And then I also bought us like Legos to do together. Basically every gift that I give him is something that we can do together. That's Aww. cute. That's cute. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you're not, not only giving him a gift, you're giving him like quality time. Mm -hmm. Assurance. <gasps> oh, love language. Oh yeah, what oh, is your guys' yeah. love you know. Oh, ours is physical touch. <laughs> <laughs> ours is definitely physical touch. Um, and quality time. Mm-hmm. Wait, what are the five? It's quality time, access services, um, physical, gift giving. gift giving, and the last one is... I think it's words of assurance. Yeah, yeah. words of affirmation. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. I think, I think it's a little bit of everything for us. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Depending on what the situation is. What's yours? I don't one? know. Yeah, but you guys have one at the very bottom of the list. You're like, if you do I this, I do not care. Yeah, there's mine. It's easy to find the bottom, but not the top. Yeah, mine. We'll go backwards. Oh. Oh, oh if you, if you, if you uh, I mean, I know the top one. I took the test. Oh. My number one is.
quality time, and then it's physical touch. My bottom one was gift giving. Oh, I think mine's the same. Really? I think so. I, it's because I remember my because I did the test as well, and my bottom was gift giving. I'm pretty sure. And then for top, it was between physical physical touch and um, quality time. Yeah. I feel like my bottom would be words of affirmation. Oh really? Honestly, same. Because I don't want, they're like, oh, you're my whole world, my brain shut off. I'm like, I don't <laughs> that. Like, I really don't, I no, do not care for I it. I think like words of affirmation is more just kind of like, oh, you're doing good, like, you know. Yeah, you're like doing, I need that. But you're doing, oh, yeah. you're doing so well, I'm so proud, you Did know what I mean? Did you take the test, right? No. Did we haven't taken the test. I no. haven't taken it either. You haven't taken it either? No. Mm. I feel like at the top, I don't think mine, like, I find like mine can't be physical touch because yeah. I'm just so bad at it anyways. Mm -hmm. I think maybe like acts of service, like don't like give me words of affirmation, just show me that you care. Mm, yeah. I agree. Oh yeah. yeah. I feel like you're an acts of service and then a quality time girly. Yeah. Honestly. I, I think, think for me at the top is physical touch and quality time, um, acts of service. Then it's words of affirmation, then it's gift giving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gift giving is also like very bomb. Mm -hmm. I don't really care very much for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like if I get one, then thank you. Like I appreciate it. But it's like it's not the end of the world if you don't get me anything. It's true. Yeah. yeah. Like if you're mm -hmm. like if you can't get me anything, but we can still have quality time. I prefer yeah. quality time. Yeah. Because yeah. at least then it's like you take time out of your day. Yeah. And that's like more precious yeah. than time is expensive. It yeah. is. Yeah. It is. Yes. It is. Wow, we're old. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say that. Pushing twenty. Pushing twenty. Don't say that. Don't say that. Leave us first. first. <laughs> yeah, you're next now. Oh, oh wow. The All at the same time. Leave us first. I will call it out. You're next. And then it's you. And then it's you. And then it's me. You two got so much time. You're fine. I know. I'm chilling. The whole, the whole October crew. Yeah, like so half our friend group. Do you guys feel like the impending doom? It's kind of off topic, but do you feel impending doom? Yeah. Where, like turning funny? No. no. Like losing. I don't care. Yeah, me neither. Oh, well, I'm like the really opposite. Either. I'm just like I'm getting old. No, I'm scared. Like I'm actually scared of like the day that I just don't become a teenager anymore. Like oh, I feel like it's gonna it's my end. My world's gonna end. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. No, but like it's just so weird. Like people are gonna ask you how old are you, and I'm like oh, I'm twenty, and they're like. Really? <laughs> You're 20? Yeah. Like, let's be serious. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> true! I think just because of COVID and everything, we lost a lot of our like teenage, teenage years. Yeah. yeah. So it, to me, it doesn't really matter because I didn't have a teenage year anyway. Same. So then 20 is not going to change anything for me. Mm. I lost like that like number significance after COVID. Mm -hmm. I don't really care. Well, COVID was wild. Once we get 30 yeah. though, that's that's when that's when it matters. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. If I don't talk about 30s, 30s, I'd be like, I need to get my shit together. Because if you're pushing 30s, like with 20s, it's more like, oh, it's okay, you're still figuring it out. You just came, you just emerged yeah, from- Yeah, you're still youth. From, you're still youth, yeah. You just emerged from, you know, you're, you're going to university or college or post-secondary, whatever it is. But if you're, when you're pushing 30, like, people expect things from you. People they expect are you to getting get married. pregnant. Yeah, people expect you to be married or to have kids or yeah. just have your life together. And that's just so stressful yeah. to think about. Live on your own. Have yeah. a full time job, like a stable one. Be a be a economic slave. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> oh. Yeah, um, let's hope I have my life together by the time I'm pushing thirties. Fingers mm -hmm. crossed. Pushing thirties, pushing thirties. <laughs> okay. okay. Our definitions of love, right? Oh yeah. Or just like because like I mean, I feel like oh, but I feel like well, all of you guys have the same or similar you know, the that. ideal like entrance into a relationship. Like oh. whether you go straight on or Friends to I guess. I just want to explore like what our opinions of what oh. we're about it because I know some people. Well, not that I know people. Sorry. Um, some people, from what I've observed, mm -hmm. like they just. I guess it's like when you get older, mm -hmm. um, and you don't have that many like available, not like, like not outlets, but like you know what I mean. Like when you're out of uh, such a social setting. And you're like kind of more on your own, then you have to find different ways to get into the dating scene, right? So some people are more like, oh, they do the online dating. Nothing wrong with that. No judgment. That's great for them. But then from there on, it's like they meet someone, they talk, and then they just kind of hit it off right away. You know what I mean? They start the dating process, which is then that's when you get to know them. Mm -hmm. Before, and then that getting to uh, getting to know them portion is like the dating, but then the relationship is like when they actually ask. 
Mm. But the other part of it is people start off as friends, which I mean, it's the same thing as like the dating portion, I guess, but it, it's more comfortable and it just depends on how people go on about it. Yeah, I think it also depends on patience. Like, are you fine with getting to know this person and yeah. not turning into a relationship? Or do you mm. just want to get into a relationship? Yeah. So. Because I, I feel like the one thing about being friends with someone is that it kind of like limits them in a sense where it's like, oh, you're, you're not a dating prospect for me. Mm. Or you have, like, you just adopt that mindset. Because like, oh, we're friends. I don't want to break the friendship. Mm -hmm. But when it's like, or, like uh, that dating process, it's like a kind of mutual thing. Or it, you can just cut them off because you don't know them enough like that. You don't have any relationship with them beyond um, what was going on, but then you can just move on with your own life. Because you guys met online, and you guys are just going to move on on your own. And they don't know anyone in your own life, so it doesn't affect you as much. Yeah, mm -hmm. it definitely is easier to cut someone off that way, if you don't feel comfortable yeah. or something. Mm -hmm. But I think I can't catch feelings for someone if I don't become friends with them first. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, if I don't know your personality, like, I can't call someone. I can say they're objectively attractive, yeah. but if mm -hmm. I'm attracted to them, that's a different story. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, when I first met my boyfriend, I didn't know he existed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry in advance. <laughs> I'm still I'm still super sorry about this. Um but I knew of him but I wasn't like friends with him until um late high school. Like I didn't start talking to him until grade eleven. And then we started dating at the beginning of grade twelve, like two months in ish. And I was friends with him. I initially, he asked me out and I said no. Yeah, he was really sad about that. And then, <laughs> um, eventually, I asked him out again. And then he, we like mutually agreed on to going on a date. And then I was like, boyfriend? And he was like, girlfriend? And now we're dating. Aww. Aww. Yeah. I think we should clap, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's why you're in a relationship, and we're not. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So what happened was, I we would call every night on like FaceTime, and then his parents were like, you talk to her too much, just go ask her out or something. And so he did, and then, yeah. Oh. I left my jacket at his house, and then he snuck a note into it, and that's how he asked me out the first time. <gasps> Shut up. Uh, Wait, is that when you said no? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's so cute. No, because, okay, <laughs> so I didn't see the note until, because I didn't wear that sweater. So I, yeah. when I took out the sweater like a month later <laughs> to no. wear, and then the note fell out, I was like, whose writing is this? <laughs> and then I, and then I asked him, I was like, is this you? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> uh, and then I was like, um, well, not right now because I just got out of another relationship and I need a little bit of time. Fair, fair. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. But like at the time I wanted to focus on school because I was going to be an academic weapon. Which yeah. were you? Yeah. Amazing. That's all that matters. Yeah. So I was like, I was like trying to focus on school so I didn't really want to get into a relationship and I wanted to know what it was, it felt like to be single. <laughs> It's not very fun, babe. <laughs> yeah, and so I was like, no, not right now. But then eventually we started dating, and we still are. Yay! Yay! Okay, I have like a really weird take. Mm -hmm. I feel like I love complaining being single, but whenever like there was a chance to not be single, I've never taken my baby. <laughs> yes. And that's probably why I'm chronically single. No, Lena, I feel you. Like, I feel I, you. Because I feel like I'm comfortable with like yes! change it, right? I know what being single feels like, and I know it's not that bad. I love complaining about it though. That's the best thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, because the thing is, it's like, like with the whole when the, with a new person that comes in your life, then like a whole new set of changes that come between yeah. like how you interact with them and like how you figure out a, a dynamic with them too, and then you think to know them. Yeah. And not to say that it's a lot of work to know someone, but in terms of like. Mm, <laughs> <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like you yeah. Know, like your energy, and then you 
to think about them. And then, but the, the worst part is when you like actually like them, because then that takes up so much energy. Oh, but days. sometimes it's just it's so fun. It's, so it's just it feels like it's just like it's it's just being a girl. True. That's just what it is. That's so true. But like, it's also really but if it's one sided. If it's one sided, then it's oh my so gosh. exhausting. It's so exhausting. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! I, I literally, you're like pinning over the one person, and then and then you know you think you have an opportunity, and then it doesn't happen. You think you know them, and then you don't because they have other friends. Oh, yeah. yeah. Turns oh, out they like have a girl. Uh, <laughs> they have turns, a out, turns out, you know, they're not over the person they were. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, so was many that, reasons why that can't work, work out. out. <laughs> Anyways. 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 Um, do we move on to the next point? Or did you want to... I think we're all unanimous in saying that we want to be friends with them first. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But, like, where is, where's the point where you're friends with them? And they want to stay friends and not change anything, but you want to move on. Like, oh, what like, if it's, what if it's um, like you don't want to mess anything up, mm. so you're too scared to ask? Oh. See, that's why I'm single. Because <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> mm, like, oh, so that's what you guys say. Yeah, that's, yeah. But I, anyone else is different, like, opinion. I don't think about it. <laughs> I just, yeah, yeah. Like, just go for yeah. it. Go for, like, shooting your shot or YOLO. I feel like, um, for me at least, it's it's okay if you're like friends with them like just go into it like ask them if you're friends with them but i feel like if you're friends with them and you're all in the same friend group that's when it's kind of like oh do i do this do i go yeah for this? it's like risky then right yeah i mean it's risky always but then one of the like the first the first one it's like there's nothing there's nothing that harms you there's mm. not you know you know what yeah, I mean? yeah like, it doesn't there's... change anything i think when someone asks like you out, they think that you would have some sort of bond already. If you're friends with them already, and then they ask you out, I feel like you need to stay friends. But if there's some random from like the streets asking you out, <laughs> I don't think you should be friends with them after that. Yeah. Yeah. Do we start talking about the ideal day? Oh, sure. Yeah, sure. You know, I'll let you guys go first. No, you with should. With my years and years of experience. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you this. I have this long list I'd like to go with. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> you have a list I probably do. You're just talking. I swear I'm listening. Out. Okay. Well, while well, she finds a list for me, first of all, show up on time. <laughs> oh, for a date. Perfect. Yeah, yeah it makes sense. Yeah, and like, I and it's sometimes fine, but you know, when someone's like consistently late, you're like, okay, so like, no effort. You don't really care for showing up on time. Mm -hmm. I'm like, ugh. So that's like, first thing. Like, if someone's late consistently, that's already a bad impression on date. It's like, yeah. okay, you're late. Oh, yeah. Like, if they had a good excuse, fine. But, like, they're like, oh, sorry. In general. I feel like because they're not considering your time. Yeah. You're like waiting there. And we mentioned time being mm -hmm. precious, so. And I don't mean, like, one or two minutes. I'm not going to say anything <laughs> over one or you're two minutes. Like, five minutes, it's too. Bye-bye. <laughs> but, like, I would say if you're, like, more than five minutes, you're pushing it. If you once you hit ten minutes, I'd probably be annoyed. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, "You're more than ten minutes late." No, on a that, date. Makes, that makes sense. Mhm. Mm yeah. Because it's a date. Yeah. It's like it's an agreement. It's it's a it's a higher stakes agreement of hanging out with someone because it's like you're exploring them as a potential partner, mm -hmm. and then so it's just, again it's about that respect part where, and depending on if you like knew them beforehand or not, I don't know. Depends yeah. on what the narrative is. Dude, I get annoyed at five minutes. I'll be honest with you. Even though I like, I'm a person who's who's like usually pretty late to things, but like, it depends because normal like if it's like a relationship, if I'm in a relationship, and then that I'll probably be you know a little more, a little more on time. Maybe I'll be, maybe maybe if the person's like a new person, I'll be a lot more on time and on top of things. But if they're like, like I, I get annoyed at five minutes being late, honestly. Yeah. Then another thing is that they show up, and if. Um, and if they, I mentioned this earlier, but if they showed up looking like they actually tried to look good. Because, you know, what if they're, someone's late, plus they do, they look like they didn't put any effort into looking good for your date. Like, mm. what are you doing? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, what is this, you know? So that's the second thing. But yeah, um, no, no, it's, it's ideal yeah. date. 
Ideal date. Oh yeah. Ideal date. I was saying bad things about a date. Ideal date. We're talking about ideal date. Okay. So you know it needs to be organized, or else you're gonna like not know what you're doing. So like you know plan ahead. Like you know communicate with each other like what you're gonna do, if you go where you're going, and then what's an ideal date? Can I say something that I would expect not to be an ideal date? I feel like watching like being at the movie theater is not an ideal date. Yeah. Because you're watching in silence. I guess not like, for our first date. Like, I, first date like once about. you like know yeah. them, like already, I feel like a movie date is good. And then you just eat after, and like that's when you have your um, time, one on one time. I feel like yeah. that's fine with me. I feel like cause I prefer like watching a movie and then like being able to talk over it. Um, so like a home date, mm. kind of yeah. But I guess for the first date, it's too far. Oh, we're not, yeah. 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 Like, I guess I'm I'm thinking like friends to relationship. You already know the person. Mm. So. Mm -hmm. That's my take. <laughs> that's fair though, that's about. fair. No, 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 it's fair. Yeah, well, I think for ideal date, I do like something that you're both into because I'm assuming you're interested in them because you have similar hobbies. Mm -hmm. Usually for me, if I like, if they have similar hobbies. What is that for you though? Like, just give an example. For me, it's like sports, if you're into like fitness, so like something related to that. Well, obviously, a gym date is a bad idea for a first date. Go <laughs> <laughs> swimming. Swimming. Swimming? Or like a beach. Yeah, or like a hike or something like that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I think that's fun. Rock climbing. Like that. I think oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The more, inter more like difficult the skill is, and especially if you guys both are on the same level of skill. Or if, if one is like better, they can like help the other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, yeah. but they help the other in a way where it doesn't make you feel like a burden. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Because sometimes when you're on a lower skill set, and you feel bad for like holding them up. You know what I mean? Sometimes. Anyways. Yeah. Sorry. This or, is not. This is not yeah. a personal experience. Mm -hmm. Or it could just like go get food. You know? That's, oh, that that yeah. can't go wrong. That's like, amazing. Like go to a cafe or like go get dinner or like go go get food and then go on a walk to the beach. Yeah. Anyways, sorry. I'm I'm I, I keep interrupting. Yeah. Anyone yeah. else? Um. Uh, so. Me personally, I like staying at home. <laughs> So, honestly, our ideal dates, we don't go on dates, just to put that out there. We stay at home, <laughs> and we just hang out together. That's amazing, yeah. though. And during, that. Especially during exam seasons, we can't go out without like needing to study. Mm -hmm. So, it's either he comes over, or I go over, and like he'll be studying, and I just go take a nap on his bed. <laughs> That's amazing. That actually sounds amazing. Yeah, it's a great time. And then other times, it's like... Oh, you play a little video game, we do a little activity, and then we take a nap. And then if we feel up to it, we'll go out to eat. If not, we'll eat with our families. That's cute. And that, that's our little, our date. Uh, the, the most recent date was for our anniversary. Happy oh, anniversary. Congrats. Happy Thank second you. year. It's two year anniversary, and we went out to get udon um, in Vancouver, and then... We went to get ice cream after, and then we took a nap. Amazing. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. I feel vibe. like I prefer like that type of date yeah. too. Especially if you know the person. That's like not first date. Our, our first date is actually so funny. It was uh, the day of um, a fundraiser. Mm -hmm. Our fundraiser was a Christmas movie night in our high school gym. And I was wearing my pajamas. And I didn't bring a change of clothes. So he, we ended up like ordering takeout. And then he went to, inside to go pick it up. And he came back out. We sat in his car. In the backseat. And we ate. And then we watched Avatar. The Last oh. Airbender. And we sat there for like an hour-ish. And then he brought me home. It's the it's the kid, right? Yeah. It's not the blue people? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the kid versus the blue people. <laughs> okay. I love that. Just Definition. Just making sure. Yeah. Those are, those are, that's my that's my ideal date. That's so nice. Thanks. Your turn, Miss. Um, mine's really childish, but I really like theme parks and amusement parks. So, um, obviously my love language is quality time. So this has to be the whole day at a theme park or an amusement park because it's so fun. I don't know. Are they not the same? Theme park is like. Like Disneyland, Universal Studio, and then amusement park is like Playland. Oh.
Because, oh. like, amusement park is just the rides and stuff, and, like, oh. theme park is, like, you actually... There's a theme to yeah. the park. Oh. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> They're the same thing! Oh, awesome. Yeah, so, um, I'm a big fan of those, because I love going on, yeah, I love going on roller coasters and stuff, and I don't know, I feel like it's just so cute, like, oh, you're scared, oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or, I don't know, I just, yeah, that'd be my ideal date. That's so cute. Nice. That's amazing. What is the a definition of a situation? It's it's one you don't. It's like no no label. Yeah. You. But you're like kind of reserved. You're exclusive. No. But you know. So, I think I think situationship is like. In the timeline that you're dating. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's just you don't you you, you don't want to put a label on it. Mm -hmm. That's just how I perceive it. Yeah. Okay. I've never been in a situationship. <laughs> You yes. want to talk about your experiences? Or? No, I'm good. Uh, yeah, I was in one. I will, I'll say that. I was in one. That's it? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. Jury, have you? I don't... I don't even know if it was a situationship or it was like... It's like somewhere in between. I don't think so. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say it was a situationship. Like, it could have been, but it wasn't. Yeah. Next. Uh, how do you guys act when you have a crush? Oh, terrible. <laughs> okay, who here is obvious? I'm so obvious. Well, I think I, I don't know if I am. I don't know if I am either. I, I, I'm not the other person, so I can't tell mm -hmm. if I am obvious. Well, I know I'm obvious because, okay, the funny thing is for me, my friends realize before I realize. Mm. <laughs> so like, and then it's pretty obvious because they know that I like them. But they can tell before you Yeah. Can tell. Mm. Oh my god, part of the ideal type, I just remember. Um, you have to be able to hang out with my friends. Mm. Like, oh. if, you're, if you can't hang out with my friends, or my friends don't like you, then that's a red flag. Yeah. Mm. But if, like, obviously, we should have separate friend groups. Because, like, you need your own time, like, with the your girls. You need your own people to talk to aside from your partner. I feel like that's important, um, but yeah, they have to be able to somewhat be okay in your friend's eyes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. good yeah. rapport with your friends. Is yeah, yeah. Idea. But have your own like support group. It's mm -hmm. also very important. So yeah, apparently I'm pretty obvious because mm -hmm. see, I usually think I'm not being obvious, but then it's probably obvious if all my friends know mm. the person. It depends on the person. They usually know. But you know, some people are not very smart, so they don't know. <laughs> Tee. Tee. Uh, I think I just become nicer and I just talk to them more often and then they're the only person that I think about. So if I'm at like work or something and I'm distracted, I'm probably thinking about them. Yeah. <laughs> <That's what laughs> <I do>. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's just being a girl. We're just girls in this world. Yeah, we're just girls in this world. Dude, I, 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 I never want to have a crush ever again. God, I hate myself when I have a crush. Yeah. Also, I think I just bring them up a lot. That's why, like, my friends realize really quickly because I talk about, like, other friends to my friends, right? Good or bad. Mm -hmm. so, I'm not saying anything bad about you guys. No, <laughs> but, um, good or bad, I talk about my friends, like, to my other friends. Mm -hmm. And so, like, if I bring somebody up, like, really often, like, Obviously, I talk about some people more than others, but like if some someone suddenly starts like coming up in my topics like all the time, they're like, oh, oh mm -hmm. here it goes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they know. Yeah, I feel like I don't. I don't think I make it obvious at all. Because like I can't give you guys a good example because like you know, I haven't had a crush on people that anyone know that any of you guys know. Mm -hmm. so I can't be like, did I have like this? So. <laughs> I feel like I, there's not really much difference. I have a question of, do you guys know when someone else has a crush on you? It depends. No. 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 I can't depends. tell for the life of me. They have to it's literally tell me. Some people are like super obvious about it. Like they like, like literally do stuff that they want you to know that they have a crush on you. Yeah. But some other guys are just, just like so low-key about it, you have no clue. Mm -hmm. I feel like with that, it's like, it just... It, de it depends on the dynamic you have with them and, or with the, the person because sometimes you can be friends Because but... I'll always see them as a friend to like literally tell me otherwise <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like someone could be really obvious and I probably still won't notice Yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> No, but 
Yeah. No, there was like one time, there's this guy. <laughs> I got I mean, that the no, 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 I can say this. One time there was this guy friend that I had, and then he was like doing some really obvious shit. Oh, right. He was doing really obvious stuff, and he was like, there was one time someone like insulted me like as a joke, and he was like, "Y'all are so ugly," and then I was like, "Wow, okay, damn." And then he texted like this the other guy because he was in class. It was a call. Oh. He was in the call when that other person said that to me. He like texted me after. He's like, "You know, don't worry about it. Don't even listen to him. Like, you're so beautiful." <laughs> like, and I was like, "Oh, well, oh, thank okay. you." <laughs> and then, like for the longest time, I was like, "Okay, well." That was a bit, uh, that was an odd situation, but he's just a friend. And then, like, all my other friends are like, are you stupid? Like, are you dumb? And I was like, oh, okay. That's well. something I would do. Like, <laughs> you know what I think it is? Yeah. I, think every, I think girls can always tell when, 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 when guys or when people like their friends, but they just can never tell when it comes to themselves. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I questioned him liking me, even though he confirmed it to a mutual friend. And I kept asking, does he like me? Does he like me? Does he mm -hmm. still like me? <laughs> and it's, the answer was always yes. But I always questioned it because I'm like, me? <laughs> me? You're honest. Obsessed yeah. with you? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I don't know, like, I easily find people attractive, but I just, I never really. Act it's on it? hard, yeah. 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 I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's like no, but like so it makes sense. It's so much work. Not to say that's so much work, but it's like like you have to. It's like a whole process, and it's like so scary to like initiate that process. Yeah. Especially if you're unfamiliar with that. Process. Exactly. You know, like yeah. more scared to do it. It's fun to be attracted to someone, but not fun to like actually fully. No, yeah. it's fun to like. Okay, wait. Do you guys differentiate? Having a crush on someone and being attracted to someone. Yeah, yes. I see. Which one's more lighthearted? Uh, I'd attracted. say attracted to someone. Really, I think a crush is more lighthearted. Really? What so I feel like attracted when attracted? you only you only really notice your attraction when you see them. That's how I define mm. it. But a crush, like you're thinking about them even when they're not there. Mm. That's yeah, that attraction is. Yeah. I think attraction is just like. Um, you want to spend more time with them. You want to just like get to know them, whatever. And then a crush is like you want to be with them in a relationship or wait which sorry I feel like I switched up the words you is it more like is it more serious for you guys to say oh I have a crush on x and x or is it more serious for you to say oh I like x and x I think well, like is more I see it as the same thing yeah it's the same really? thing like yeah. and crush I see it the same really I don't know but I, I feel like attraction I don't know why it's different mm -hmm. it's a different word <laughs> yeah well yeah, yeah that's true <laughs> I feel like like is more serious. I, feel like I just feel like, serious too. Yeah, I just feel like I mean crush is just a lighthearted fun. Yeah, I feel like crush is more of like elementary not okay, not elementary, but it's more like <laughs> Oh, I think you're like you're kinda cute, but then like you get over it in a week or two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's how like I always in terms of when I was in elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> like I I'd be like, oh yeah, I have a crush on this and this. And then uh, on X and X and then a week later two or two I'll be like, Yeah, no, I'm I'm over it. They're uh, they're not it. Yeah. And then, yeah. But then and like when you go to high school you don't use the word crush anymore. It's more you're like, like oh. Yeah, I like this person. Yeah, and then when you when you say that, then it's like off limits kind of Because I used to when I used to do basketball square keeping, oh. I would always say, Oh, that's my basketball crush. But it's never that serious. So I don't know if it's like Mm, Am I yeah. just using the word wrong or something? No, I feel like that. I feel like there's because I don't know. There probably is a definition for it, but I feel like everyone doesn't know. It kind of just means something different. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. So, what is fair? Should we get into that last one? Mm, X. I feel like we should <laughs> preface with everyone's opinion is their own. Yes. Mm -hmm. We don't speak upon like. None of our things mean anything to anybody else. This is all of our own opinion. Like, what I feel is completely different from what Mina feels, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm gonna leave it to you guys. Yeah, so we have to talk about our ix now? Oh, wait, wait, this isn't even, this isn't even like ics about a relationship. This is just ics in, in general. Like, my, mm. one of my biggest ick has to do with like, <laughs> I just see a bunch of Oh. One of my biggest ics has to do with like, hygiene. Just yeah, not, yeah. not even like men, like everyone. 
and oh, like how yeah. people like you know like kind of present themselves and like you know sometimes I don't really care how you look but just like how you smell mm -hmm. yeah yeah you don't want a bad smelling person you yeah. don't want to be around them yeah, I'm always I always worry about how I smell to everybody yeah because yeah. I smell myself and then everybody's like, "Oh, you don't smell that bad. I don't. I don't smell you." I'm like, but "I smell me." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I my next one. Yeah, one of mine is uh, they can't read a room. Like they have very poor social cues. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, like if you can tell I'm off, and you can tell that I don't want to be approached or um like there's there's a, there's signs that you can see that that like, they want to be left alone and then you don't leave them alone and then you just sometimes if i don't feel good i don't want everybody asking me oh my god are you okay are you do you need something do you need something from me i'll be like no leave me alone <laughs> like <laughs> i i don't want people to care for me like i'm a child you know <laughs> I want people to be like, oh, you good? And I'll be like, yeah, I'm okay. And they'll be like, okay. And then they'll leave it at that. And that's fine. But if once mm -hmm. they say like, oh my god, do you need something? Do you want me to get you this? Do you want me to get you that? I'm like, no, I can get it myself. <laughs> Especially okay, but like, sometimes you don't know what to do. Because, like, you know, like sometimes you're like, yeah, they probably want me to leave you, them alone. So then I'm like, okay. And then I, I just do whatever. But then... I'm worried that like people think like oh they don't care about me because they yeah that's what they I just mean. left it left me alone but that's then, my toxic trait too though if I want a specific person to do something then I'll, and they don't do it then I'll be mad but then I can't even get mad at that because I told them I don't want them to do it and then they won't do it and then I'll be like okay that's fair well for me like, in general I don't like pick me's yeah. Drive me crazy. I actually like I'm like, please get away from me. <laughs> I just can't deal with them. Like attention seekers? You wear makeup? Oh my gosh. I don't wear any makeup. <laughs> oh my god. You're like, so look, you're so lucky you look good in makeup. Like I can't do that. I can never. The back to like the pick me girl thing. Like when they say, Oh, I wish I could do that too. I don't know. It sometimes it's just ego boost, but in a yeah. bad way, ego boost. Well, like sometimes it's fine. Like some in some scenarios, like those sentences are fine, but some scenarios it's like ew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ew. I feel like anyone if you're in like a mutual group and you that person like the pick me person is like bashing on you to look good in front of someone else. What? That's like a bad thing. Oh, you know what I'm <gasps> no. Like they'll they'll kind of like like half. They'll like half compliments. I'm even projecting. They'll like half compliments <laughs> and then they'll like um kind of make fun of you or kind of make you the butt end of the joke to oh. look good in front of someone else. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So you're just like, well, I'm not like this person here, so like I, obviously I'm better like to that other person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's for me projecting. <laughs> hey, all good. Yeah. yeah all fine. Do you have any icks, Bianca? Oh, let me see. <laughs> I feel like this, has this entire podcast has just been me pulling up my notes app and having something <laughs> to say after. Um, oh, okay, okay. Uh, I hate, like, it's so gross to me when guys are so narcissistic and, like, mm -hmm. overconfident. Like, I've, like, or they're just, like, people that out there that are, like, oh, yeah, no, like, 100%. This girl has a crush on me, this girl has a crush on me, uh -oh. she has a crush on me, she has a crush on me too. Like, I'm like lovable. And I'm just like, you're disgusting. <laughs> yeah, like, it's kind of like, calm down, like, put yourself down to earth for a second. You're not all that. I don't know, it's just so gross to me. Yeah, doesn't it just make you want to like prove to them that they're wrong? Be like, no, actually, she doesn't like you, she likes them, and like, she, yeah, no, she actually hates you. <laughs> yeah, and it's kind of like, yeah, yeah just. Chill out, like you're not all that. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. No, don't worry. Sorry. Don't worry. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's good. It makes sense though. Um, I put, I put this, but in general, it's like if they just if they're not respectful of something you like. Um, in my mm -hmm. list, I specifically put things K-pop is 
gross. Um, I'm a huge K-popy, and if someone just came up to me like, "You like K-pop? Like, why are you like that?" Did like, I swing? I actually, <laughs> I actually swing. so bad. Like, okay, if you don't listen to it personally, that's fine. I like listen to what you want. I'm not one to be like, "Oh, you don't listen to K-pop?" Like, I'm not like that. But if someone came up to me and I'm like, oh, what do you listen to? And I'm just like, oh, I like K-pop. And they're like, oh, yeah. oh. Like, keep your comments to yourself. <laughs> like, if anyone said that in front of our friend group, I'd be really concerned for this person. Yeah. I'd just, like, watch them get destroyed. <laughs> and I'd be like, oh. <laughs> no, I like, don't know. For, for that point, though, like, a lot of people comment being like, you don't even understand what they're saying. I'm like, but now that I think about it, People, like, back in the days, you should listen to opera. They only speak English, right? But then in opera, it's, like, different languages. Like, Italian and French is very popular in opera. But you listen to it if you can't understand it. But it's the same scenario with K-pop, right? It's just a genre of music. Yeah. You can it's still more like, than language. It's, yeah, it's just music. It's just music. Sound that comes from instruments. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and you like, just don't respect, disrespect people's hobbies. Yeah. I think, yeah. Like, just respect in general is a. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. Well, because I can't like anybody that will disrespect my hobbies. Like, yeah. I'd be like, okay. Are you mad if they didn't like hair dye? <laughs> 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 would be like, can you never dye your hair you ever like again? Like, game over. Like, game it over. It doesn't look natural. <laughs> <laughs> You're done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, I'm sorry. I'm like, dye my hair. Like every time there's an exam at this point, <laughs> um, I mean, even it's not good, but like, it's the, it's not harming them. Yeah, yeah. like that, like, even then, like you don't have to make that comment. Like that's, yeah. that's for what reason? Yeah. You don't like it, but I mean, there's a lot of things I don't like about you, but I didn't say it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, your body, your choice. Yeah, yeah. like that, like respecting. Is mm -hmm. I feel like people should you know. disrespect what you like unless it's like harmful. Yeah, yeah. Unless it's just doing harm to others. If it's like harmful to you or others, then yeah, you could hate on it. Not hate, just, not hate, just, just but like raise something concerned. Like you know, try bring to, it up, bring it up. Yeah, bring it up. Talk then to like, them about it. if if it's just like a normal hobby, like if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think you, I think people learn that when they're younger. If you have nothing nice to say, don't say it. <laughs> okay. So like. Don't say anything if you have nothing nice to say. Kind of go back to kindergarten. Yeah. 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 So yeah, the people that don't follow that, um, I think, go back to elementary school. Goodbye. <laughs> I think another another ick of mine is like, um, taking your downs to make them feel up. Mm, you know, like yeah. kind of like attention seek, but not really. It's like ego boost. Like, what do you mean? Like, if, if, like, your mark comes out, right? And then they're constantly asking you, oh, what'd you get, what'd you get? Or, like, constantly trying to compare themselves to you and, like, saying, if, so, okay, say something, um, like, I failed a test or something, right? And someone will be like, oh, so sorry, but I got, like, a 80-something on that. I didn't think it was that hard, but, like... That's not the point. That's not the point, yeah. right? That's not the point. Like, if I don't want to look at my mark because it would jeopardize something else, or, like, I don't want to look at something, or I don't want to do something because I feel like it's not the best idea for me in that scenario, don't pressure me to do it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Take, take that no and just leave it at that. Like, I don't, I don't appreciate, like, the constant bantering or the constant... Asking of something. Boundary pushing. Yeah, boundary pushing. Like, That's I a good word. Hate when they push boundaries, and they know that they're pushing boundaries, but they don't realize that they're doing it. Mm. Yeah. Whether it's intentional mm -hmm. or not, boundary pushing is not fun. Yeah. 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 Is that everything? There's probably a lot more, but we just can't think of anything right now. Yeah. 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 Those are the highlights. Highlights. <laughs> we definitely have more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but we need to keep this non-controversial. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, as we were saying, as so we like, think. you know, that was our, those are our icks. We can't think of anything right now, but mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's about it. Yeah. 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 Uh, so the main takeaways from this podcast. Um, 
shower regularly. <laughs> <laughs> um, be a friend if you want to date us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not us, not, not me. Yeah, but not, not her. her. Not, no, her. not me. Not, her. not me. But if you want to date one of these lovely ladies. <laughs> oh, no thanks. Is anyone actually looking right now? <laughs> <laughs> I hear not. Um, they don't want to date right now. But, like, eventually. Maybe you shoot your shot. Maybe you're good looking enough. But please, <laughs> please be friendly. Uh. <laughs> Oh, read, the read the room. Read the room. Know how to read the room. Respect boundaries. Respect mm -hmm. boundaries. Respect women. Respect each other. Respect. Period. Respect. Period. Yeah. Uh, thanks for listening. Yeah. Bye. 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 Please don't cancel us. <laughs>